Being here in Newfoundland and Labrador, I sometimes get the sense that for some, it can be difficult to stay and also difficult to leave, like a rock. Well, I guess for a rock, it's far more easier to stay than it is to leave, but you get the picture. And that got me thinking about life, about when the hard and difficult things come our way in life, how do we deal with them? Let's find out. I've never met a group of people that are more closely knit. I'm from a small town on the west coast of Newfoundland, and they recently went through a huge tragedy with Hurricane Fiona, and I've never seen them come together and as a family more, as a community, to help recuperate from that. So I think you could take a page from Newfoundland and Labrador, just ask how your friends are doing. Ask, say, if you have a compliment, tell them a compliment. You, you can always say something nice. How do you deal in your life when things get a little difficult? Hot chocolate. <laughs> Hot chocolate? Hot yeah. chocolate is a magic cure-all. Cure-all. When things get a little difficult. Everything. If you have stress, hot chocolate is a thing. When things get tough or difficult in life, how do you manage that? We usually laugh it off. <laughs> As a native Newfoundlander, I've always thought of what Jesus said to Peter. You know, on this rock. I will build my church. And sometimes when life gets hard, and it does, even as a pastor, life gets hard, um, you've just got to ground yourself in Him and trust in Him. And even when we can't see what's happening and when we don't know what's best, we have to remember that His plan is perfect in the midst of it all. High five. Thank you. And so the rock here on the island all around us, it reminds me of that statement of Jesus and His promise to build the church. So, um, you know, when I think of rough times and difficult days, I think of my identity is found in Christ. His, His plan, plan is, is perfect. perfect.